Hello my angels and devils and all who may wander here. It is Amanda Christina and I'm going to give you my wacky way out there conspiracy theory. Now I'm not much into conspiracy theories I'll be honest but this one has been stuck in my head for over a year now and I've told a few friends about it and I've thought about making a video on it and what better time to make a video about a crazy conspiracy theory that I have then during Spooktober. So my crazy conspiracy theory is this. We know that people are working towards having flight, space travel to other planets on populating other planets. So what if all these people that have all the big bucks and all the money are like, they don't give a, they don't give up about us because it doesn't matter to them because they're about to go colonize. They're going to go colonize somewhere else and they're going to have the money to do it. And those of us that are left here are either going to be stuck with the earth how it is, or we're basically going to have to sell ourselves back into slavery or indebted servitude in order to actually go into space. It's something I've been thinking about because you watch, watch the dumpster diving videos where people pull out so much stuff and they cut up perfectly good bras and clothes and just ruin things because they can't sell them. Now, you would think, given that the, there are laws that can be made that would be like, okay, you still get your insurance back or whatever, and the, and just it goes to charity, um, it goes to help a school, it goes, you know, whatever, depending on what it is. Like, it it is sickening how much gets thrown. And I'm not even talking about, like, just household waste or the fact that things are not built to last because if things are built to last they, the way they were, say, back from, like, like first initial buying of the like first things like washing machines and things like that 50s 60s 70s even 80s like a lot of the stuff was built to last then now it's not it has a timer on it because if it's built to last we're not going to need to buy it as often so ergo companies are going to make less profit um think about it i've been i think that's part of what's spurring me into like i'm still uh, still spending too much money and buying too many things but I it has been making me think about how I use the supplies I have and using things up and not just mindlessly buying like if I buy something and it looks like I've bought a lot of stuff for no apparent reason there's usually in my head there are things like it's either something I've really wanted for ages and I really want to work with it like say a paper collection or there's reasons like that I'm building up for things so don't think usually there's method to my madness a lot of times it probably doesn't look like it but there always is and um I tend to be I like even cardstock now I'm trying to use every bit I can paper because these are resources that we don't need to be throwing away much of you know if we can get away with it throwing away as little paper scraps as possible is a brilliant thing and it should be something as craft as we are all conscious of doing of trying to use up every bit of something like I have Lindy's stamp gang mists here and I've been dying to play with them but I also have dilutions I also have um distress stains and I also have a big container full of mists so I want to use those and I don't do I don't do much misting I've got to start doing more misting um but I want to use those up before I even I, I that's my little challenge to myself is to use those up before I make up the Lindy stamp game ones because otherwise I'm just going to want to use those and they're going to sit around too and I don't want I don't want everything sitting around just getting wasted um the same with um acrylic paint acrylic paint has a shelf life I didn't really th I don't think about that when I buy things so I'm trying to use up what I have before I let myself buy more now if I need a particular color I will buy that color but I'm not going out and just buying everything I see because I don't need to do that um I have I'm in a good place with a lot of things so that's helpful but um what what do you think about that do you think it's possible that you know the higher ups and the secret things we don't know about are conspiring to like say screw the earth we're gonna go live somewhere else so we don't have to worry about it it's not our problem we're, our problem is just making as much money as we can or do you think I'm not so I'm really curious because this has been stuck in my head it's something that I haven't been able to let go of and that's mm, it's not usual for me unless you know it's something that really matters so I'd really like your opinion on this this has been my 
crazy, wacky conspiracy consumerism theory. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying Spooktober, even though I am a little smidge behind, but I am catching up. Remember, as always, you truly are incredible. You really are amazing. But most importantly of all, yes, you, I'm looking right at you. You truly, truly do matter. Bye, all.